I'm Bodhi Atwe, and this is your NWI.com news update for Wednesday, May 19th. In breaking news this morning, the Indiana Department of Transportation has indefinitely closed the Martin Luther King Drive Bridge over the Borman Expressway because of safety concerns. NDOT officials believe cracks found on concrete beams have compromised how much weight the bridge can hold. The agency said it plans to make repairs, quote, as soon as possible. This closure comes on the heels of December's permanent closure of the Klein Avenue Bridge because of safety concerns. The Indiana Supreme Court ruled Tuesday that the city of East Chicago can seek changes in how it spends casino revenue and it isn't permanently bound by a 15-year-old agreement. In a 5-0 decision, the state's high court said only the Indiana Gaming Commission can approve changes in the agreement between the city and Ameristar Casino. At stake is an estimated $14 million that is accumulated in an account as well as future payments from Ameristar. Currently, a portion of the casino's gross revenues is paid to the Foundations of East Chicago, a nonprofit created to promote economic development in the city. Currently, uh, Mayor George Pabay wants the city to receive and control disbursement of such funds. Crown Point City Council will meet tonight, and among the council's plans is to discuss the trash to ethanol plant planned to be built in Schneider. The Times will have a report from the meeting. But a day earlier, Maryville Town Councilman Richard Hardaway joined an increasing chorus of people who are railing against the plan. Part of Hardaway's concerns is that plant ownership will be transferred to the Lake County Solage Waste Management District before the plant begins operations. A Crown Point pastor is expected to be on stage tonight with rocker Alice Cooper after winning a contest from ABC's Good Morning America earlier this week. 49-year-old Mark Wilkins is pastor of First United Methodist Church and will live his dream to play with Cooper at a concert in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Times will have a report from the show in tomorrow's newspaper. In sports, the Chicago Blackhawks are the toast of the NHL's Western Conference after taking a 2-0 series lead against the San Jose Sharks after a victory Tuesday night. But for playoffs in hockey and basketball aren't the only spring sports getting attention, especially in the region. Don't forget to check out NWI.com for regular updates on games, matchups, results, and commentary from region high school teams in girls and boys track and field, girls tennis, boys golf, baseball, and softball. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for logging on.